Hey guys, my name is Annabelle, and today I'm going to talk about elders, grandparents, parents, just in general, that age gap of being an elder, if you will, and a younger. So I've been sitting with this topic for probably like five months now, and I just haven't found the words to to communicate to you what I want to and I'm not quite sure I will in this video either but I've I've thought about it and I've tried to kind of collect my thoughts and I don't know if that's gonna happen but I really hope so <laughs> so as some of you may know I've been taking care of my grandfather for the past eight months at night um, overnight and my family does a lot of care and help to him as well but I'm just usually there at night and sometimes various times throughout the day so it's given me kind of this opportunity to um, slow down and really try to reflect and figure out what it is that I I want the amount of patience that I've gained since since doing this is kind of incredible. I never was a patient person and I still don't think I am, but I've gained so much more patience than I once had. The amount of gratitude that I now have for where I am, the situation in life that I have right now, the passions and interests that are moving me forward, it's, it's kind of encouraging and I appreciate it so much more than than I think I would have if I had if I was just continuing on with my regular stuff that I'm doing and the opportunities that I have and just kind of going with that as we kind of grow up the younger generation it's it's kind of just ingrained in us or it's part of our society to encourage people to do, 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 do. Um, so much action, so much busyness. What are you gonna study? What degrees do you wanna get? What kind of jobs do you wanna have? You know, you need the big house. You need a family eventually. And there's just so much going on in those early years for a lot of people and you just kinda get caught up in it. You get kinda taken away. And to contrast that, as you get older, you slow down and I think you appreciate things much more you appreciate little things and so this relationship that I have right now to my elders people who are older than me they offer me the the space to actually realize that it's not about all the things we do with our lives it's not about the degrees we get it's not about um, having something big and fancy because at the end of the day what you what you hope what you really want is that you brought as much of yourself to this world as you possibly could have and that really only can happen and you can only really grow your potential through reflecting on that and giving yourself time to slow down to think to just kind of feel out what it is inside of you that you really want to do, what brings you the most joy, what makes you happiest. There will be points in your life where you are forced to ask for help. And being able to witness um, my grandfather who is very strong-willed and doesn't really like to ask, um, and it almost makes him, I think, feel feel bad sometimes um, when he's kind of more conscious of it. Asking for help is something that we really don't know how to do. This whole idea of freedom, independence, is so ingrained in us since we are super young that it's really hard when you get older and you are forced to ask for help. And I think a lot of times older people feel that they don't want to get in the way of the younger generation's busy lives. 
what they're trying to accomplish, what they're they're wanting to do. And I think the the greatest gift that older people can give you is the is the space to slow down, to actually think about what it is that you really want. Because you can live your whole life and not really be conscious of of what's really inside you. And I think maybe for for older people that kind of hits you like wow I just did all this I raised a family I I put them through college and now it's like oh my gosh I was never really living my life I was never really really being who it was that I wanted to be I'm not exactly sure if I will ask for a lot of help but I do know if and when I do ask for help I'm not going to feel bad about it. I'm not going to feel like, oh, I'm impeding on someone else's life or, or, I don't know, I'm messing with their schedule. There's none of that stuff. If someone wants to help, they'll say yes. And there's no harm in asking because if they say no, they say no. And you'll find someone else to ask who will eventually say yes. Although I am slowed down a little bit because of the care that I'm giving, it's making me more conscious of, of how fast things move, how fast your life goes away, how fast you live it. The importance of your actions and the steps that you do take to improve yourself and give whatever it is you wish to to the world is so important when you're younger. And as you get older, I can only hope that the steps that you took, the bigger, longer, faster, more conscious steps that you took will have made it worth while and it's gotten you into a place where now that you are walking slower, you can't get as far. I can only hope that you're in a place where you're happy and I hope that I'm when I'm older and I can't move as fast and when things really slow down, I hope that all the work that I did leading up to those that point of kind of slowing down and decreasing and I can only hope that I'll be I'll be happy and content with the life that I've lived. And so the greatest gift that elders give us is that space to slow down and reflect as well as a totally different point of view and although you may not relate to it and although it might not be the reality of your life or your lifetime or the the collective consciousness of the people that you will be surrounded with during the period of time that you're alive there's value in understanding our past in understanding our history understanding our our family blood relations. I think a lot of times we can toss away the challenges they faced or uh, the problems they overcome or even personal issues that they had and and dealt with and maybe they overcame them, maybe they didn't because it's not our problem. It's not the challenges that we will face in our lifetime. But that has nothing to do with your ability to listen and learn from someone else's experience. Those are some of the, the best lessons that you can learn in life. Being able to relate to people, to show that you care. You will always be in relation to people and trying to figure out how you can relate their story, their challenge, their issue to your own life in order to find understanding, clarity, insight, maybe advice as to how they can, how you can help them. And they are mirroring for you things inside yourself that you can work on, challenges that you have to overcome. And so, although I'm only 20 years old, I find immense value in building on this relationship with my grandfather and other older people in my life and actually taking the time to listen to what they have to say. Because I know so many people who, go, who come out of high school and college and have no idea what it is that they want to do. They have so many interests, so many things they really 
want to accomplish, passions they want to pursue. I know I certainly do, and I still do. But I'm beginning to realize that it's not so much what you do and what you accomplish, what you do for this world. It's more about in here. It's more about discovering, finding what it is that's unique about you, what, what you came to this world to give, and being able to, to share that with the world to the best of your ability. There's unique things about each one of us. Our challenge is to figure out what all this stuff inside of us is and try to get down to that core of who it is that you are. And I know that can seem challenging and daunting and an impossible task to a lot of people, but there's something deep down within all of us that, that knows why we're here and what we're supposed to be doing. I think that's all I want to communicate to you guys. If you have any questions, leave them below. I hope you're having an amazing day, and I will see you very soon in another video. If you have any suggestions, you can leave those down below, too. Adios.